Hello, my name is DW. Like most everyone here at Population Reference Bureau, I'm a bit of a data geek, and I'm here to talk about census data, the kind of information we get only by counting people. Countries have been conducting censuses for thousands of years. When the Romans weren't busy conquering the world or throwing people to the lions, they used census data to impose taxes and conscript the soldiers needed to maintain their vast empire. 2,000 years later, Florence Nightingale used census data during the Crimean War to prove that most British soldiers weren't dying in battle, but were being killed from nasty diseases like typhoid because of poor sanitation. This helped revolutionize medical care and saved untold lives. Florence Nightingale gets my nomination for the Data Geek Hall of Fame. The census data are still being used today to save lives. Mozambique officials used it in 2019 to help plan disaster relief following two devastating cyclones. At the UN, it's being used to measure progress on sustainable development goals to help improve the lives of billions of people globally. And census data are enabling companies like Amazon to serve customers better by making product recommendations based on population data. Counting people isn't easy though. Census taking gets disrupted by wars, natural disasters and political strife. Obstacles can come from all sorts of unexpected places, even a galaxy far, far away. Pity the poor Siberian census takers in the 1920s who carried rifles across the frozen tundra to fend off packs of wolves. Those were definitely not data wolves. So, why do we keep counting? Because it's the best way for countries to make decisions, provide services and address challenges to improve the well-being of their people. Like in India, where census data will be used for bringing social programs to those who need them most. At least 52 countries plan to conduct a national census in 2020, including the United States, where the data is used to set congressional districts and help determine how more than $675 billion in federal money is spent. States need those dollars to fix highways, build schools and fund programs that help those in need, like kids and the elderly. So getting an accurate count is really important. If you want to learn more about the history of the census or get the latest data on the world's population today, visit prb.org slash worldpopdata. Then you can be a data geek too. May the data be with you. Ooh. Mm -hmm.